Hello friends, this video on organisms and population part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So there we introduce ecology. So what is ecology? So it is a branch of science which deals with study of interactions of organisms with each other and the environment. So basically that's the, uh, we have dedicated a specific branch for the study of organisms and their environment and that is called ecology. So ecology in a way is a study of interdependence of organisms and their environment. So in ecology, we see that different groups of organisms, they depend on each other and also on several non-living components like soil, water, air, etc. So that's, that's what we study under ecology. So ecology exists at various levels. Now when we say various levels, what do we mean? So it, it can exist at an organism level where we say, th say that a particular organism is interacting with another organism or a particular organism is interacting with a particular component of the environment. So let's talk about one individual, whether it is one human being, whether it is one elephant, whether it is one bird, so it is one individual. So ecology or interdependence can exist at an individual level. So that, that's the organism. It can also exist at population level. Population is a group of individuals together. So when there is just one person, he is an organism. When it is a group of say uh, 1000 people, so that's a population. So at the population level also, this interdependence exists. For example, the entire population of lions are dependent on the entire population of deer. So, so that's the ecology at a population level. Similarly, the ecology can exist at a community level, which is again a broader term than population. So you see, as you go ahead, so it is like a more broad term. And finally, it also exists at the level of a biome. So biome is like, a, uh, you can say it is, an, it is a kind of habitat on a larger scale. So within a biome, you will find different categories of animals. So within a biome, you will find yeah, a population of human beings. You will find population of animals, say giraffe. You will find population of lions. So that means you have different types of organisms within a specific area so that that huge stretch of area would be termed as a biome. So ecology exists at all these levels, at the smaller level of organism till the higher level of a biome. So let us try to understand each of these terms. So we will start with organism. So an organism is an individual, plant or animal. It can be unicellular or multicellular. So one single bacteria, which is a unicellular organism, is also an organism. A frog, which is a multicellular organism, is also an individual and therefore an organism. A human being, again, is one individual, so it is an organism. Think of population. So when we talk of population, it is number of organisms of a species living in a particular area at a particular time. So when we talk about population, now where do we um, get to hear this term population very often? So I'll give you an example where we use the term population very commonly. So we often talk about the population of our country, we talk about the population of India, we talk about population of the world, we talk about population of a particular state. So have you noticed that every time you want to know the population, you need to define for which area you want to know the population. Because when we are, the, the, this population we are talking about is the number of human beings which who are present in that area. So mentioning that area is important. Otherwise, you will not be able to define population. So it is always about number of organisms in a particular area at a particular time because with time, the number of organisms would change. It might increase, it might decrease. So therefore, a population is always defined for a particular area at a particular time. For example, let's say the population uh, if you calculate the population of India in 2010 and again you calculate the population of India in 2015. 
So what has changed? So the area is the same in both the cases it is India, but the time has changed and with change in time there will be a change in population. So popul in, wherever we are talking about population it is of course group of organisms but it is very necessary to know that they are all inhabiting a particular area at a particular time. Now when we talk about population, we we see this increase or decrease in population because of several factors like births, deaths, migration. So all these things can change the population. For example, if there are too many birds, too many new organisms are being born. So the population would increase. If there are too many deaths, a lot of organisms died. So the population would decrease. If there is migration, that is the organisms have entered this area. So in that case also the population would increase whereas if there is migration in the sense that the organisms have left this area so again the population would decrease. So there could be several reasons which are responsible to, with, to for shaping the population. They could also be natural events like um, diseases or disaster because of which there is a change in population. So population can exist at a local level or at a regional level. So let's take the example of population of frogs. So the population of frogs in an area 1. So let's say there are two different areas. One is area 1 and one another area is area 2. So let's say that area 1, in area 1 the environment or the climate is very hot. Whereas in area 2 the climate is very cold. So the population of frog in area 1 can very well be different from the population of frog in area 2. Because area 1 would be inhabited by frogs which are adapted to hot environment. Similarly area 2 would be inhabited by frogs which are adapted to cold environment. So that means as the areas change the population might also change even if we are talking about the same species. So the key point to remember here is that whenever we talk about a population, it should be for a specific area at a specific time. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.